Yeah. Hello, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you are new to this channel, press the subscription, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so that you get to see new videos as I drop them on this channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to design your email signature in Canva. This is very important as it helps you to brand your business and your personal uh, brand also. Now, it shows in every email you send out and uh, in emails you reply in your email inbox. Uh, so it helps you to brand your business and to make you look serious in the eyes of people that will be reading your emails. So that is what we are going to learn today. If you are ready, let's get started. Now to start, you type in canva.com in your browser and press enter and it will bring you to the home page of Canva. Canva is a, a software that helps you to design different kind of things ranging from um, uh, cards to presentations social media posts, videos, websites, and much more. Now, there is a free account on Canva where you don't need to pay to use it, and there is also a pro account where you pay to use um, premium features. But today we'll be using the free account to create the email signature. Now let's get to it. To get started, you type in email, signature in Canva uh, search bar and you click on the email signature to get to choose the template you have. One good thing about Canva is that you don't have to start from the scratch. You can customize any available template to create your own authentic email signature. So here I'm going to be looking for email signature that are free to use. Whenever you come across a, a design that has a crown and pro in front, it means it is for pro users, users that are paying to use the software. But uh, those that are without it are free to use, are free for anyone to use. So here, I will choose this. Just place your cursor on the design and you'll see three dots. Then you click on it and click on customize this template. It will take you to a page where you can uh, customize a design and then uh, make it your own and download it for use. So we'll start by changing the name. I'll put in my name there. And here I'll put in my designation. I can use content creator. So you can change also the phone number the email address and your address. You can also have your website address. So I will just change this to my website address. I am ladywriter.com. This is where I train writers to learn how to write and make money online. So here, let's increase the font. It looks tiny. I'm also going to increase this also uh, to seven. This I'll make it this here. I'll make it seven. So I'll need to change this um, icon to a website icon. As you can see, it is carrying an envelope. So I'll come to the search bar here and type website icon. Just pick anyone that fits the design on the page and reduce the size so that it fits in perfectly. I think I can use this. Maybe I also increase it a bit. Seventeen. This 
to make it 12. So now we need to change the picture. Don't forget to do that. You can use either the logo of your company or your picture. So I'll be using my picture. You just hold your, down your mouse and drag it to the picture. It will change the image to your own. Now that we are almost done, uh, I will need to change the dimensions of the uh, email signature. This is because I use Gmail. I need to be two bogus on Gmail. I want it to fit in perfectly, just something cute and nice, not too big and not too small. So I'll come to resize and type in 400 by 125 pixels. So I'll click on copy and resize. So this is the signature. Mm. I want it to be at the edge, so I copy the whole thing and drag it to the edge. Now, I also need uh, social media icons at the bottom. Canva only allows you, you can only link one, can only have um, one link using this method of email signature creation. And I want to use the link for my website, but I also want to have social media icons that I can link to my uh, Facebook page, Twitter page, and all the rest of it. So I cannot add it directly on this design. I would love to design it here and then take it to my Gmail and link it right there. So now that I'm done with this, I can download it. Let's change the name. I am Lady Writer Signature. So I'll click on Share to download it. So now that we are done with that, let's create the social media icons that will take to the email software, which is Gmail. So you click on Create New Design, Custom Size, 50 pixels by 50 pixels. Then you click on create new design. So here we have, I'll look for my Facebook icon. My design is in, I go to element and look for Facebook icon. My design is in black and white, so I'll just have a um, a gray background and the white and black um, social media icon, something like this. So I will add another page for my Twitter. Twitter icon. I'll pick this, put it on the page, make sure it's centralized. I'll add another one. Um, LinkedIn, I'll copy it and I'll put it on the page, good. So I have a YouTube channel also that I would like to link. So I'll also copy it, put it in the middle like this. So I'll download all the four social media icons. I'll go and link them right there in my Gmail account. So 
So I'll click on download and it is done. So we'll now go back to Gmail, the Gmail that I want to use. We click on settings, see all settings. Scroll down to the signature section. Here it is. So you click on create new, give it a name. I use really writer signature one. Click on create. Then I'll go and bring the image I downloaded from Canva by clicking on insert image. Click on upload. So this is an image. It's not giving us a space to apply the social media. So I will do it again. But this time around, I will press the enter button twice to create space up so that it will give us space down. So since we have it already here, I click on it and click select. So now I'll close up the gap here and it will come down. Yeah, we have the space now. So we'll go and pick up the social media icons. I downloaded it, okay. I have to extract the file. Before I can use it. Okay, I have the file now, so I'll click on the icons. And upload them one after the other. It's not allowing me to upload everything at once. We have the Facebook. We go back again. The Twitter, you upload them one after the other like that. We have the LinkedIn now. Good. And uh, the YouTube icon is the last one. So we have the four. Let's increase the space between the students. Good. So uh, we are going to link the. We can increase the size of the signature if it is too small. Okay, I've increased it. I increased it a bit. So let's link the signature. At the website address https and writer.com. So we have linked the signature to it to my website. So here we're going to, I'm only going to link one. You can link all of your own when you are doing it. So I want to link it to my YouTube channel. So, okay, now we are done. You scroll down and set the default for the email. For new emails you are sending out, you choose whether to add it to it or not. If you want to add it, simply pick up the name of the signature you 
we just created like that. And then um, this is to signify that it will insert your signature before the code test test and replies. When you are replying, it will make the signature come up um, before the code test. So when you are done with that, then you scroll down and click on save changes. So now let's test it and see. This is a email signature. So let's compose a message to see, to check out the links. Here yeah, we're going to put, um, let me send it to myself. Email signature. So when we are done, click on send. So here, we open it up and that is um, my email signature. You can also increase the size of the font if it is too, um, too small. You can increase its size to make it uh, a bit big. So that is how to create it. Okay, let's check out the links. That is to my website. And this is my gorgeous website. Do check out my post there on how to make money writing content online. So we are done with that. Let's check out the YouTube link also. Yeah, it is all done correctly. This is my YouTube channel. So that's how to create an email signature in Canva. If you have any question, drop it down for me in the comment section below. I will attend to it. And uh, please check out other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.